All right, for all y'all who don't know, I love indulging in content. And some of my favorite people to watch and indulge in content is My Story Animated, because like they just have so many quality top tier videos. You know, like no one knew I was a famous singer. The one that specifically caught my eye right here was um, my boyfriend has 74 girlfriends because I can relate to that because my boyfriend also. Yeah, but uh, there's not much more to say. I just want to watch this because it looks like the most interesting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm Joy from Belgium, and my story is all about how one little prank can change your life forever. But before we get started, please like and subscribe. <laughs> End of story. She got shot. Growing up, I was the only child in a family of artists. My parents were always busy with their creative work, leaving me with plenty of time to play the rogue. I was a little red-headed ball of energy, and from a young age, I loved to joke and prank my parents and their friends, whether it was acting like a zombie or playing dead on the floor. She's definitely a goofball. Look at that face. Ah! I was already pulling the fire alarm for fun, cutting my parents' hair in their sleep, and secretly turning up the thermostat. Although I could be a handful, I was able to get out of trouble with my charming smile and big pleading eye. Ah! Am I the only one that just wants to like... Surprisingly, I didn't have any issues at school either. Many of my classmates found me hilarious. Things were going great for me until we went to high school. Suddenly, my jokes started to seem childish and annoying to my classmates, and I became bored and stopped playing pranks. Around that time, a new student named David showed up at her school. David's definitely a cool kid. Look at him. Look at that cool, awesome guy with the cool, awesome shirt and the football. Oh, he's so cool. He was a football star whose parents had just moved into our neighborhood. With trainers watching over him, clubs hunting for him, and a personal fan club of cheerleaders, David was the quintessential jock with a perfect reputation. I couldn't resist the opportunity to pull a trick on him, like shock pens, sticky notes, and even a snake in a can. But David didn't even seem to notice. Then I got more creative and put baby powder in his helmet. One of the cheerleaders ended up getting covered in powder. I set up slime buckets above the door of the locker room, and when the football team walked in, they all got covered in slime, except freaking David, who was the last to end. I'm sorry, but if we roll back on that, how blind do you have to be? How stupid, like... <laughs> if I ever see buckets propped up on a door, I'm not gonna be like, Oh, what the fuck? Hey, I see you can use a hand. Why are you helping me clean up the slime? Because I'm a decent human being, or maybe I just wanted to talk to you. What about? Why you don't stop trying to prank me? Did I do something to upset you? Or are you secretly in love with me and <laughs> So I felt like getting to you with a prank. You know, like trying to find out what your kryptonite is. Wow, did you just call me Superman? And my kryptonite is pizza. Really? Ugh, so boring. And beautiful redheaded girls who deny thinking about me. Are there cameras here somewhere? Nope, but I wish there were. So I could relive how you blushed at my words over and over again. Man, this guy's just weird at this point. It's not even Riz, that's Jizz. Soon, David asked me out on a date, and shortly, we were together. Dude, why does this escalate so fast? It goes from, that football star, I want to prank him, to this, in like four and a half seconds. Soon, the cheerleaders even began to imitate me, dyeing their hair red in an attempt to capture his attention. But David only had eyes for me, and he made me feel like I was the only girl in the world. But three months into the relationship, I started wondering if David was keeping something from me. I knew he was very busy with his training, but a few times I found out that his football buddies had gone home while he'd disappeared somewhere else. Uh oh. One day, a Tinder notification popped up on his phone. Uh oh. I couldn't read the message, but it made me feel uneasy. I didn't want to confront him about it directly because I knew he would brush it off as nothing and I would believe him. So I decided to create a fake Tinder account and play a prank on him. If he had nothing to hide, we would both have a good laugh and move on. I posed on Tinder as a young artist with a red ponytail and soon matched with David. We exchanged messages and he suggested a date. At that moment, I realized he might actually be cheating on me. <sighs> no! We met at the cafe and he was in his best mood. To avoid revealing my real voice, I pretended to be less talkative. He led the conversation, but sometimes he would stop speaking, gaze admirably into my eyes and touching my hand. And I was getting angry by the second. It was time to tell him he'd been caught. Suddenly, a beautiful girl with curly carrot hair rushed to our table and David turned <laughs> This is why I love this so much. It's so stupid. What the heck, David? You said it was a one-time thing. <laughs> what the heck, David? David was a womanizer obsessed with redheads? 
sucks. Tinder artist Georgia Francesca? Were there more? I needed more answers, and I decided to track down Francesca. It didn't take long before I found her. Surrounded by gorgeous flowers that paled in comparison to her beauty, she was a knockout. By any chance, are you David's girlfriend? Yes. Is everything okay? To tell you the truth, Georgia asked me to check if he's still with you. Poor girl, I feel sorry for her. She's David's ex and she's obsessed with him, even now. She can't seem to accept that he's moved on and he's in love with me. I think they're about to get together now. I can't tell what's going on anymore. It was only me, and I had to do something. So I chose the one thing I was best at. I was gonna prank David while we were hanging out the next- <laughs> I spied his phone password, and when he went off for training, I posted on his Facebook from his phone. Hey, Bay, if you're seeing this, get ready for a surprise tonight. Winky face heart, 7 p.m. at the fountain. At 7, the meeting point was crowded with red-haired girls, <laughs> and I was just as shocked to see the number. I saw some familiar faces, like Georgia and Francesca, who hadn't seen each other yet. <laughs> Finally, David arrived. The army of girls rushed to him and then suddenly stopped to look at each other. David stared at them all in horror, realizing he'd been exposed. He panicked and just jumped back into- <laughs> That's a real nice football outfit. It's exactly what football looks like. I love American football. What, what nonsense. nonsense. I'm, I'm his girlfriend. girlfriend. They all started fighting like crazy. <laughs> Dude, how are they going to spend so much money on everything and they make the fighting look like this? Yeah, I'm the one who called all the redheads there. I described my investigation, and he broke down in tears. Joy, please, don't give up on me. I care about all my girls, and I never meant to hurt you. What the hell? How do you even do that? How do you stand like that? What is that? They all deserve the truth and an apology. Why are his pants all the way up at his head? Fortunately, Georgia set up an online club for girls who were hurt by David. We <laughs> <laughs> she made a whole club. Look at the look at the profile picture. It's a garbage can and a red flag. <laughs> Two red flags. Found out that David had been dating multiple red-haired girls for years, even proposing to some of them. I shared my story too, and it felt good to let it out. The girls even proposing? Wait, that just went through my head. Proposing? Aren't they in middle school or sorry, high school? What? David was getting plenty of negativity, so he publicly apologized and said he'd get therapy for his issues. Well, clearly. <laughs> Jail! Years later, when he'd become a famous footballer and married a beautiful singer, she exposed his cheating publicly, divorced him, and left him almost penniless. Finally, David got what he really deserved. Yeah. Well. Also, you can tell that I had a talent for acting, which I went on to pursue at a prestigious school. You see, Georgia had an older brother, Chase, who had the same curly red hair as her. When I first met him, he pulled a classic prank on us, switching the sugar and salt in our tea. Francesca spat it out and looked mad, but I couldn't help laughing. You better watch out, or you'll wake up the pranking dragon in me. You better watch out, or you'll wake up the pranking dragon in me. <laughs> At the premiere of my first feature film, Chase said he had to talk to me about something important. I'm so proud of you, and you fill up my life with joy, Joy. I'm in love with you. Chase, wow, I, I think I feel the same way. I'm in love with you too. Oh my god, Joy, what? I was just joking. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding now. The first one wasn't a joke. I do love you. Ugh, I'm gonna kill you. Well, that was my boyfriend has 74 girlfriends.